I am the wellspring from which you flow. Without me, you will have never been. Welcome back to the show, everybody. It's good to see you. It's good to be seen by you. And what a day, what a day. We have got a great show lined up for you guys, but who am I to do the the lining up of the show? Why, I am Bill Sylvie, the Dungeon Delver. And this is a little thing that we do. We do it five, five nights a week. We bring you classic tabletop role-playing game content and it is of course brought to you by our friends at hellebard games now hellebard makes the kind of adventures they'd like to play whether it is for fifth edition for castles and crusades or for the osr old school is in play at the table with hellebard games and you can find them on drive through rpg or on their website hellebardgames.com and they are linked in the description below please go check them out and i just want to give a big delver's dungeon salute we are at 5638 picking up eight subscribers on the day. Welcome one and all. I hope you enjoy yourselves. And if you haven't subscribed, if you've just been kind of washed this way, sent in this general direction by the the exigencies of the internet, by the eccentricities of the YouTube algorithm, please do consider clicking that subscribe button and the bell icon for notifications. And if you like this video and you want to see more videos of this kind, then give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and tell me what you like about it. And you know what? If you don't like the video, give it a thumbs down and leave a comment below and tell me what you didn't like about it. And I shall endeavor to fix it. Uh, Not a lot of preamble tonight, guys. Uh, I am going to completely make make a hash of this. So I'm just going to say XX. Welcome. Um, I think I bumped into you out on, uh, out on the Twitter, Twitter face space over there. Um, <clears throat> so we're, we're, we're going to be, uh, getting going here as soon as I have my group in the house and, uh, what we do, this is first edition advanced dungeons and dragons, no fancy virtual tabletop. Sometimes I'll have miniatures out. Sometimes I'll have a camera pointing at the table and you guys can kind of see the, uh, you know, see, see the moving parts as it were, but it's largely theater of the mind by which I mean, I have enough space in my head for an entire theater. Um, but do, do my players, I don't know. So we play first edition advanced Dungeons and Dragons, but the thing I would like you all to understand is that this this need not be a passive thing. You don't have to sit back and be like, you know, watching watching a football or basketball or or soccer or whatever. If you've got a question, ask. Ask in the chat. And by gum, if I... I don't know the answer. Somebody in the chat probably does. Somebody in the chat can probably tell you, here's why they're rolling D6 for initiative. Or at least that we roll D6 for initiative. Because that's that's what, what I like to do. I like to make this an interactive learning experience and not just something you guys sit and consume passively. So... Um, that's that's what I what I want you guys to do. This is not scripted. Look, the the entire party could get wiped out tonight in the first ten minutes, and the rest of tonight is just rolling up new characters and starting a new adventure. Okay, 
We don't have script reads. We, you know, we, we don't have a writer's table or anything like that. This is first edition advanced Dungeons and Dragons. It was good enough for Gary Gygax. And I think it's good enough for us. And speaking of good, I have got a great stable of players. Uh, so let me don my headphones and let us welcome this awesome group of folk in uh, to the, the, the space here. Everybody uh, say hello to Doomsword Deathmaster, who plays our resident half-orc fighter, uh, Vrug Dorn. What's up? Uh, of course, we have uh, the mighty and mighty educated Fane Kyle playing Sir Standard, a fighter magic user. A false doom quote to start the show there, Bill? I thought it fit. Uh, of course, what is what is an AD and D party without a uh, without a thief in it? So everybody, welcome Mark as Grimsby, the halfling thief. Hello. He's a halfling, but he's a whole lot of fun. Uh, of course, uh, we our, our our newest member to the party because uh, you know. Yeah, you can't go into dungeons without without uh, all the brawn up front you can possibly get. So everybody, uh, say hello to uh, Tim Imholt, who's playing Tarth Nose Rage, the human fighter, whose roles were so bad last week. I decided to bring an appropriate hat. You have the BS hat. I saw that in the green room, and I was like, <laughs> "Yes." All right. Uh, of course, we have uh, you know a party uh, doesn't doesn't have a prayer without a cleric. Uh, so, everybody, please welcome Mobius, mysterious man, Mobius as Duran, the human cleric. Is this working? It is! Oh. No robot! Domo arigato, no roboto. Um, and let's see. Oh, dear. We just lost Kevin. Uh, well, we have Kevin playing our elven magic user. Hopefully, he'll be able to uh, to get in here uh, in just a second, we, we lost his connection. He lost his connection, I should say. I didn't do it. I promise I didn't do it. So uh, as quickly as he gets here, we'll get rolling with the game. But something that I know you guys out in the audience and the players are fond of, of course, is finding out XP totals. And as we left, as the party had returned to their, their shelter, as it were, um... We, uh, I actually did some homework and I have some XP, uh, to give out to the party. Now, I did the homework because honestly, it was a little bit staggered. It was, it was a little bit, uh, because the party split themselves. And uh, if you've ever dungeon mastered, of course, you know how much fun that can be. So, the XP totals that uh, I will give out to you. Um, first of all, I will give the whole party totals. This is XP everyone in the party, including John, the non-player character, gets. Way to go, John. This does not include treasure. So um, let me let me uh, bring this up. I have it in a document. All right, so the entire party, everyone, for all the monsters you've been fighting uh, from last XP dole out to now, mm -hmm. 313 XP. All right. And 13. That is everyone in the party gets that. Now, when we had that, uh, that, that uh, super group, that super trio that formed that broke off from the group slightly. That was Vrug, Tarth Nose Rage, and Sir Standard. Mm -hmm. You each get 449 XP. So that's each, right? That is each. That is correct. Okay. 449 XP each. Now, 
Droog stood tall before a leveled half-orc warrior in the inner gatehouse last week, and for dueling him, Vroog, and dealing with him all on your own, you get 188 XP. Well, hold your phone. Where's mine for killing the magic user, then? <laughs> it's... It's... Magic user? The cleric that I saw load. Well, there were other party members in that fight. That's that's all bundled in uh, with the uh, with, with the other XP. But, um, Sir Standard, you fought a doppelganger in the other gatehouse. For that, you get three hundred and eighty-two XP. Okay, now I can level party. Now I you can. I just, I just can't afford it. <laughs> right. Uh, however, however, I do want to point out you have an unidentified ring, an unidentified mace, an unidentified potion. You have 920 gold, uh, 900 of it from three bags hidden beneath the trapped statue in the temple in the slave pits, and 20 of it taken from the uh, taken from the half orc fighter that Vrug slew. And you have 6,000 in three gems from those self-same bags. So that is 6,920. The XP for this stuff depends on how you guys divide the treasure. So that, that is entirely incumbent on you. Well, we need Should to determine... we keep this around until we get to the next town. I think we have to just figure out if the ring is is uh, has any magical abilities or not. Well, well there is. He's not holding it. I'm okay with that. There, there yeah. is a yeah, really. Well, we never <laughs> identify the ring then. Um, <laughs> but uh, there is a magic user in the party that's capable of doing it. That's not me. That is correct, and uh, Kevin is having uh, some tech issues right now. Hopefully, he'll be able to get back to us here in just a second. And uh, if you're all right, uh, let me. He see. says he's here. I see. Yep. All right. Um, so Kevin, exit the green room and then re-enter. I'm gonna I'm gonna kick you out of the studio and then come back. There you go. Alrighty, so uh, Michael Dale brings up an interesting point. Uh, I grade, uh, I grade you, and it makes a difference when they get a level. Yes, absolutely. Fortunately, I have a group of excellent players who don't slack around, so I don't have to. Uh, I, I don't have to. Um, you know, I, I, I don't have to take somebody aside for counseling, as they say in the professional world. And there we go. Welcome, Kevin, as Marius Easel. Gavin it says muted on his screen. I think he needs to unmute. I think that's what it says. Oh, progress. Uh, no, it does not. Uh, it says Kevin. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, hopefully he can rejoin us, but uh, blink twice. If you want to cast identify on some of these items before you leave, we need to talk about Kevin's connection. <laughs> that's a good one. It says I'll, I'll cast it. it. Okay. All right. Uh, so he will cast it, and uh, Kevin, if you can... I think we still had a pearl kicking around. Uh, if you want to roll those percentile dice, uh, go ahead and do that to see if you can identify the ring. You'll have a few seconds to identify it. So you can make, uh, I will say, at least three attempts, because it is literally just, you know... Taking ring off, putting ring on. Seven. You don't need it. Uh, so you nice. are uh, you are knocked on your butt by the con cost. However, that is a ring of protection plus one. Okay. Now we have yet another ring of protection plus one. So somebody have another ring of protection plus one. You have um. Let me see. You have a mace. Do you want to try and identify the mace? May as well. Alrighty, uh, Kevin, give me another percentile die roll, please. 
And was there one other item too, or was that it? There was a potion, but uh, you know, I always go with can uh, you know can identify by taste on potions. Well, I think we have three or not. Give it to Vroog. Vroog tastes everything. Yeah. Yeah, I'll taste it. That was you, Kevin. Uh, no. Although you can hear me now. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's what I meant. I had uh, five or six headsets on my machine for the same device, <laughs> and only one works. So. I only get one Windows does that. Okay. So. Um, <laughs> I rolled a forty-four. You rolled yeah, a four. I use one of those. Four, so twenty-five and five per level. I think you just made it. Yeah. Yep. Just by one. Yeah. Just for by you. one. Okay. That is a mace plus one. All right. That is a mace plus one. Who wants a plus one bonking stick? Chuck it in the car with the Does Duran have mace? <laughs> I, I, Duran is Duran's gotten pretty uh, pretty prickly about maces, so. <laughs> I thought he'd be more prickly about morning stars, but yeah, maybe <laughs> did there. All right, so um, we could give the mace to John if uh, nobody else wants it, but that's some XP there. It so, is. So since I'm up front, I'd like to have the ring, so that I don't continue to get my ass handed to me in some of these fights. You don't have magic armor or anything, right? I do not. I think. Yeah, so I, won't that give him a plus one bonus to AC overall then? Uh, yes, as long as he does not have other protective items. Um, Non-magical protective items. Other magic protective items, I should say. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's effectively like giving you free plate mail plus one with a plus one bonus to all your saving throws as well. Indeed. Exactly. I have no argument. <laughs> no, that's fine. Um... All right. Well, then who we wants decide with the mace? Yeah, who wants the mace then? Duran. No, I'm good. Give it to oh, Duran. He can donate it to his temple for training later. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, worse comes to worse, you get the XP, right? Right. Yeah. We still have the other one in the ma- in the cart. We sh- we should already have one plus one mace somewhere. <laughs> How you lost a plus one mace? <laughs> <laughs> no, we chucked it in the cart with the other stuff. This we only so- just bought the cart. We didn't have a cart before. This You're feels so atypical uh, this is of a, a low-level party. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the same mace okay. we're talking about here. No, no, we had it. Hey, on. Icky, but man. yeah, I mean, John could use it, you know. I mean, that would at least give him a plus one weapon. It wouldn't. He's not proficient, though. Uh, it no. doesn't detract from anything. The Let's... dagger, spear, sword, axe guy. Um, By the way, Tim... For taking the Ring of Protection plus one, that is 2,000 XP earned to you. There you go, sir. Um, yeah, as really genuinely, as far as XP goes, I don't care as long as I get gold at some point, because I'm going to need it. Y'all can keep the XP from it for all I care, but I just need to get my build. <laughs> okay, so the only thing left to identify is the Potion of Fire Resistance. Um, and again, you can do that by taste because, uh, you're now, uh, down eight, uh, con for the rest of the day, Marius. Okay. I'll taste that thing, of course. <laughs> All right. Hand it over. Well, I've you. had worse swill. Give you it you know, likes everything. Mikey likes anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like burning. <laughs> Okay. Um, oh my gosh, we we lost somebody. We we lost our yeah, it's Mark. Okay. Tech problems abound tonight. Hopefully, he'll he'll be able to to come back to us. Okay. Uh, so tasting the potion, it has a uh, a crisp, cool taste, and you notice when you sip it, uh, you know you're you're kind of you're examining it there in in the light of a of a torch, and. Suddenly you notice you can't really feel the heat coming off the torch for just a moment as you sip it. So what you have there is a potion of fire resistance. Yeah, this seems to provide some coverage from flame. Set him on fire. So so now you can be super careless with fireball. Well, (laughs) yeah, it belongs up front somewhere. In the front line, 
They tossed the oil over our heads, the flaming arrows, the wizard spells. Okay, so that is that. And um, who are else you take guys, that? Are you guys um, going? Oh, sorry, go ahead. Honestly, oh, sorry. honestly, I think there might be a case for me to take it, if only because I'm the guy with the wand of fireball. So, like, worst comes to worst, I'm the guy that typically is going to be the first one blasted. Uh, good. So, you're going to go up front to do the wand of fireball. I'm usually up front to do the wand of fireball. All right. As long as the flame's going to hit you first, I'm cool with that. <laughs> that's typically. But I'm going to remember that. <laughs> yeah, that, that's typically the way that goes there. Right on. So, and worse comes to worse, that means y'all can retreat and I can hose myself and I'll be fine. You know? Just just a question. Does the uh, potion of fire resistance make your items resistant? Uh, yeah, it is. It, okay. It's magic, man. Nice. Okay. That's just yeah. something good to know. I, I mean, now, you know, if he throws something down, like, you know, pulls a magic item out of his belt, like a dagger, and throws it, and then drinks a potion of fire resistance, or even if he drinks it and then throws the, the dagger elsewhere and then detonates a fireball, guess what? I'm going to be making a saving throw for that item. Um, whereas with the potion of fire resistance, Monday, uh, eat small items on the person uh, are fine. And that's, uh, and that's what, 250 XP? That is 250 XP, yes, sir. Hey, Darth Brooks, hello. Uh... All right, so we have the question of monetary treasure. Uh, you have 6,920, uh, but granted, that's that's uh, in part of that is in gems. So I don't know how you guys plan to divide that treasure. Is it going to be even shares or what? I think we're gonna do. I mean, I guess shares. we may as well. Um, yeah, may as well liquidate now, huh? Because we've we've dug into it. So, can we? Can uh, Grim? What would Grimsby offload those gems? Uh, why? They're much more carryable than gold. Right, but they don't split even, though, right? I'll hold on to them. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about this seriously. So, 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 but, but. Uh, Grimsby will point out that some of y'all got some some magic shit. So why don't we split? Why don't the rest of us split the money? Fair enough. Half of it's gonna go back to them anyways, cause okay. I owes. But so, I'm thirsty too. So who who didn't get something magical? Vrug, uh, myself, and and uh, uh, Marius. Uh, Marius, sorry. Correct. And Duran, right? Yeah. Duran got a magic mace. That's fine I with did. me. I got a. I'm happy with the ring. Okay, so Duran's going to keep that for training, trading, and and stuff. That's what we're going to do, right? Uh, Michael Dale is asking: uh, encumbrances are being really tracked. Oh, it's absolutely being <laughs> yeah, tracked. Right. Yeah. If this was six thousand in coin, or God help them, six thousand gold pieces worth of copper. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, Bill, how many gems were there? There are three. Okay. And there are a thousand eight, each, eight, I believe. Yeah, so, so uh, no, there are 2,000 each, actually. Whoa. Okay, because he says 6,000 in gems, and there's three gems. I yes. see. Yep, yep. Uh, okay. So so if uh, Grimsby, Vrug, and uh, Mobi Mobius take one gem each, and then 920 divided by three is three. Marius gems. take one gem. Marius. I said Mobius. I apologize. Um, no problem. Uh then, then, as far as the gold goes, that's three oh six gold in mm -hmm. coin each. Is that okay and by everybody? That's fine. We still have those six silver holy symbols to sell and some additional ninety gold to split beyond that. But yeah, each one of us take one holy symbol. Yep. So everybody, you get a silver holy symbol. It's worth forty gold. 
to some god. I don't know. Is it to Grumsh? <laughs> it was. Let I recall, it was quote a variety end quote. Yeah. Oh, no, um, yeah. Okay, curiously, cool. none evil. There, there's like no Grumsh or Hexter or or anything like that there. So if we're okay, okay with this, uh, Vrug, Grimsby, and uh, Marius get one gem worth two thousand gold pieces and uh, three hundred and six gold pieces. Mm -hmm. And each one of us gets a silver holy symbol. Yep. All right, if that's where we're going, what's the XP for that mace? But, right, so Duran will get XP. You're going to hang on to the mace to and get XP for it. Right. Okay, so the mace is worth, it'd be helpful if I could bring the right document. The mace is worth 350 XP. Yeah, I'd rather have gems. Well, also, if you if you just sell the mace, you get the XP for its sell value, so... Yeah, as opposed, as opposed to getting the the value for owning it, so that would if you're just going to sell the mace so you can level, right? Which is I think what you want to do. Just do that. Oh. You want a mace? And and so that, so that we're clear. I mean, once I liquidate, once I get somewhere, I'm going to liquidate this gem, and and I owe you I owe you a bunch of money. Durant, well, you're going to pay you the money that I would have got. If I didn't take the mace, <laughs> no, but that, I, that's the thief's fault. <laughs> it's always the thief's fault. But of course, you guys have to get somewhere where you can sell the mace, don't you? I think we should get on the road. Yeah, no more maces for me, guys. You guys can do whatever you want with them. As I said, well, just sell the mace so you can level, and then I already you know. did level. I leveled last time. Well, sell yeah, the mace. I was trying to ask about it, but I didn't get a response. <laughs> yeah. You'll get more XP that way. Okay. So. Okay, so as I recall last week, you had purchased a cart. Um, and supplies. And, and supplies and so on. Uh, you have 22 uh, slaves. I miscounted you. You have 22 that you freed from the slave pits. You have uh, John is with you, and of course you have your uh, fighting men mm -hmm. who are accompanying you. And having no immediate business in Highport, uh, you can set out the next day. Yep. So I think we need to get on the road. Yep. All righty. So you journey up the coast, uh, making your way for Barnacus, which is uh, about a Sen Knight's journey away. Um, onward you travel. The first day uh, is is cold as you as you move through the marshy area near the sea. There are enough remnants of road that travel even with a cart, and for those on foot is uh, a fairly easy affair. Uh, the further north you go, the slightly better in repair the road becomes. The depredations and uh, neglect as a result thereof by the humanoids has surely worn on the, the um, infrastructure here uh, around the Pomarge. The second day is mostly uneventful. Then in the pre-dawn hour, who would be on watch in the pre-dawn hours? Yeah, it'd probably be me. Okay. Uh, what is what is Duran's dexterity, please? Uh, I have a dexterity of 14. Of 14, okay. So it's nothing extraordinary. Um, huddled around fires and whatnot are your... Uh, your men and women um are you having the men at arms uh any of the men at arms sit up with you uh well i, supp I suppose if it's pre-dawn people would start being to get up anyways like most okay, of the yeah. men at arms are kind of used to that all right so folk are starting to move and it's really grimsby 
who reacts first uh, to the tramp of booted feet coming in out of the misty gray pre-dawn um, sort of coming up from the southeast. And, hey, Jerron, uh, stop stomping around there. I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> That's not me. Uh, you hear many gruff, loud voices uh, in the in the distance. Um, it's enough to wake you up, Vrug, and you immediately recognize Hobgoblin. Keep those ranks straight, you maggots! The Hobgoblin Warband. Look alive! The the clink of armor, uh, sort of mumbled marching. Uh, sounds and they are they are almost right on top of you uh, before you're even able to scramble up and in fact you start to hear cries from the war bands uh, campfires ahead who is that ready your weapons I'm not climbing how, how I'm many sorry? I said I'm going to climb a tree Okay. And All right, so what's the deal with armor? <laughs> well, if it's magic armor, you can sleep in it. Yeah, magic magic armor is lightweight enough to sleep in. Yeah, I mean, I would I would typically prefer to sleep in my armor anyway, being a soldier, a veteran, you know. But I do have magic armor, but okay. like, I do not. Um, <laughs> you have a ring. I have a ring. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You you do have a ring. Uh, I have a ring and a crossbow, so I can stand back a bit. <laughs> okay. What is Tarth Nose Rage's uh, uh, normal armor that he wears? Uh, Chainmail. Chainmail. That's not too bad. That's going to take you about five rounds to dawn. Oh, ball. Um. So let's see. At least he Vroom. doesn't need help. <laughs> that, that's valid. That's valid. But uh, okay, I won't. I won't. I won't. I'd rather just grab my crossbow and start shooting things. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, you can see looming up out of the mist, and there, there are cries from your charges. Uh, the females and a fair few of the males are, are getting on the lee side of the cart away from the, uh, the, the uh, approaching band so let's get declarations Vru, what are you doing they're about 20 yards away uh, are we on like level ground and that yeah. sort of thing it's and it's and level. it's a clear path between me and them correct yeah yeah right and i can see them what kind of weaponry and whatnot uh so in the front you see um uh there's perhaps a dozen with spears uh, and they, they do appear to also have swords. You can see pole arms being carried in the back ranks. This is not a small amount of odd goblins, I just want to point out. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's a good sized group. Yeah, marching at the front of their their four columns are uh, our four uh, larger breed. Um. So what what are you doing, Drew? Dude, we have a whole brigade here. Just get ready. We may have to parlay. All right, Sir Standard is climbing a tree. Tarth Nose Rage is readying his crossbow. Uh, Mobius, what is Duran doing? Yeah, I'm putting a stone in my sling. Okay. Uh, what is Marius Easel doing? I'm gonna get ready to cast sleep, and I'm yep. gonna tell Yancey to see if she could cast confusion. <clears throat> All right. Um, let me see if I can do this here. That's actually the reason why I'm climbing the tree is so I can get line of sight on the back ranks. Oh, I really don't like them, Papa. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. Does okay. Nancy like anyone? <laughs> no, she like fat not guys. really. <laughs> Likes you guys. Hate everybody. It's, really. it's easier that way. Oh, it fits in with the rest of the party. Yeah. 
Uh, John picks up his shield and and hefts up his sword. He knows he can't get into his into his uh, armor in good order, so he will stand. He is he, he is uh, moving towards the men at arms to stand with them. Mark, what is Grimsby doing? Uh, he usually wears leather armor. How long would that take to get on? Uh, just a single round. That's what he's doing. Okay. All righty. Um, let's see. Uh, they see you, Vrug, and do you say anything to them as they approach? Now who goes there? We are on business from the city. Ah, we recognize no city. We are the raiders of the bloody hand, scourge of the pobarge, and you, you will be our next victims. Peals of laughter. Um, I am the scourge of the pomage. They are chosen poorly. They are drawing weapons. They, uh, uh, their pole arms being lowered. Um, let's go ahead and talk about some initiative because war were beginning. Uh, and we'll go ahead and go with uh, go with Vrug there. Give me a d6 roll. Okay, um, as I said, you're about 20 yards away, so there is a group of spearmen that are rushing forward. Uh, your men-at-arms are holding their ground. John is doing a great job, because you guys are doing your own thing. John is, hold, hold! Um, your men-at-arms are, are readying spears also. So we have... Uh, them moving forward, they are they are kind of starting to to fan out. Um, there the and the ones that are moving forward, they are moving past those that were marching at the head of the column. So basically, you got fighting men. Uh, they are not charging, Vanger. They are not charging. All righty. Um, they have moved forward in this round. So I believe we have a sleep spell going, do we not? Uh, sh am I at the top of the tree yet or far enough oh, in? Yeah, you, you, you got up there. And I'm casting sleep. How, how, how dark is it? It is pre-dawn, so it's, it's a very faint. Uh, um, but you... You have infravision, so you can see them. It's not that. It's my ring of shooting stars. So I am going to cast sleep this round because that's what I declared. Okay. But I just want to know if it's possible, if it's dark enough for the ring to work. That is a fun question. Is it technically night? It it I'm it, it is pre dawn, so I'm going to deem that yes, you can use the ring of shooting stars. So we have a couple of uh, sleep spells going. Give me two d four there, sir. Standard. Um, sure. Uh, Marius, I presume we're targeting different groups. Yeah. Well, you said you were going back. I was doing front. So, yep. So there's eight. Wow. Okay. So yeah, that you hear some drop, you're stumbling and cursing and yelling and whatnot. Um, Marius, give me seven. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. So yeah, you guys have taken down 15 of them. Uh, there are shouts of confusion. Um, now we go to missile fire. Tim, do you want to take? Do you want to shoot one? Absolutely. Poing. Go ahead. Was that a D six? I think uh, it's a D twenty to, yeah. to hit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot the basic step first. You, you That's okay. Know that, but, yeah. You'd be amazed at how often that happens. All right, 10, so you're far. Let, let me see here. I got to... Oh, do I not? You know I keep that table on my character sheet. He um, doesn't have a character sheet. <laughs> he probably hit AC7. He If he hit... Yeah, he hit AC8 without modifiers. 
Okay. Um. Well, he's fighter four, right? Oh, yeah, I thought he was fighter. Uh, uh, yeah, if, he, if he's fighter, yeah, if he's fighter four, that's AC. That's AC eight before modifiers. Yeah, that 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 uh, ricochets off of a shield. So unfortunately, not. Alrighty. Um, let me get acrobat going here. Can I get a sling stone from Duran, please? Oh, so close. Poing. Same thing. Alrighty. So that is missile fire. Um, Yancey is casting confusion. And let me see. I need to open up that and see how many that's going to potentially affect. Well, it's it depends on which version of the spell it is. If it's druid, it's a four by four area. If um, it's not, then it's something else. <laughs> for her, it's it's gonna it's gonna be druid. So, I mean, that's a seventh level druid spell, Bill. Um, then yeah, I think that's a little OP perhaps. Yeah, I just... agreed. Yeah. I'm thinking it's probably the magic user version, right? Or whatever. All right. So let's see. Come on. There we go. So I have to reopen my PDFs from the last session. And confusion is in the player's handbook 20 times. Bear with me, please. Uh, seventh level druid. We are looking for fourth level magic user. Right. It says two to 16 creatures is the effect. Okay. Nice. Uh, six by six and two to 16 creatures. Otherwise, as the druid spell. Right. Um, and saving throw is special, quote unquote. All saving throws are at minus two. Yay. All right. Hey, you got like one of the better followers. Yeah, it was a seriously lucky roll. So 13, and now I have to... <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, the DM's favorite, I'm sure. Yeah, now I'm just... You know what? 14. Uh, they are all just going to stand stupefied for a round. I'm not, I'm not doing it separately. Unless it's attacked, and then they'll, they'll turn on... They'll turn on each other. All right. So there are now, uh, let's see, 15 asleep, 13 just, just kind of sitting there. So that's tw <laughs> that's 28 of them that are now not doing anything. And now we come to melee attacks. And my seventh level party was whining about having to fight 120 bandits earlier, like this past weekend. And I'm like, do you see what you can do, people? Do you see it? It's not that hard. Exactly. And you haven't even brought out the Wanda Fireballs yet. Have no. you? That's why you need a good mix of characters. Oh, no, they have a great mix. They're like five clerics in the party, too. So it's like... They just, it doesn't sound like it's cheating. <laughs> they, can just, they can just be stupid. Now, keeping in mind, I have, I have a 12-person 12, 12 gaming table. Oh, okay. That's, like, that's, it's... No, it's... Wow. Trust me. It's, it's not that bad. Um, But, yeah, no. It's, it's only it's, like half of them. They don't think sometimes, I swear. And I just want to point out that, yeah, that the verbal component of Yancey's casting is this. It's just stick her tongue in that chest. <laughs> <laughs> it needs a somatic component of a turd. That would be awesome. All right. So, um, yeah, they're just a bunch just kind of stop. There's yelling and confusion in their ranks. Um, let's go to melee attacks, please. I guess rude. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to go ahead and be up. So how many of these are left? Um, I mean, piles. Yeah. 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 I mean, the game is up. Obviously I'm attacking. All I'm right. attacking everything that's in front of me. That's a hit. Yes, sir. All 
All right, 13 points. 13 points. Uh, you killed the hobgoblin in front of you. You, excuse me, YouTube, he unalives him. All right. Uh, do you want to roll for the men at arms? I'll tell you what, let's do that since you guys are doing other things. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah. So we're creating more. Roll uh, for the men at arms and I'll roll for John as they right. do their thing. So John steps up. Who's rolling for them? The how many he do will we actually, have? Uh, four men at arms. John stabs one of them, but does not kill it. Uh, that man at arms misses. That man at arm hits. That man at arm misses. Good clean. Okay, I'm not doing this again. So let's have to do it next time. But you hit one. You hit you, you hit with one. Okay, so uh, and you got all the crap rolls out of the way. Right. Uh, you you cleaned out the die roller. So that is uh, a hit with his spear. Because they're they're fighting from the back. Stab me, stab, stab. All right. What is that? A D? I forget. D six. D six. D six. Stabby, stabby. Nice. <laughs> all right. The word jabroni is often thrown around sometimes, and it no. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with we got boned on that one. But they're all out of the way. You uh, we gave up on the hat or what? You just have I to need the hat the back. Man, that, you need the hat back. You need the, <laughs> the hat, hat back. back right uh, thank you, Rick, super mom. Thank you very much for that. You successfully stabbed him and gave him a paper cut. Good job. All right, I'm gonna pour pickle juice on it next round. It's yep. a, Start your men at arms are human, you know. They're like, I, I think he's over there somewhere. Okay. Um well they're they there are leader types slapping and shaking uh the ones on the ground. They can basically wake up one around. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the leader types are moving around trying to wake them up. Like, Kill their wizards! Kill their wizards first! You're all dead where you stand. How many of them are left standing? Two dozens. <clears throat> Conscious. Okay, thank you. I know what I'm doing next turn. I'm casting sleep again. Okay. Um, Vrug, are you going to cast sword? <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's the option. I'm going to okay. try to hold them back from the refugees. Tarth, have you reloaded and are you going to fire or are you going to risk it and move into melee? I am going to fire and aim for officers. Okay. Um, Duran, how about, uh, or Mobius, how about Duran? Yeah, I'm going waiting into melee. Okay. Um, Kevin, how about Marius? I'm shooting three shooting stars and I'm aiming it towards the middle of the foray. Nice. Okay. Excellent, excellent. And uh, Mark, how about Grimsby? You are now clad in armor. Uh, slingstone also at the leader type. Slingstone. Use the slingstone. All right, let's see here. Shooting stars. So you're shooting stars. Um... Pack 12 points of damage. Uh, when it's done, it's for 24. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's... Uh, so one inch is 10 feet. So, yeah, mm -hmm. you're, you're going to be crisping a lot, and that's going to be three of those. Um, the men-at-arms are fighting. John is fighting. Uh, yep. when they see that, that, like when they see Vroog slay one, a ragged cheer goes up from the, the slave Vroog the defender, Vroog the mighty. Um, is so, Marius basically calling in the napalm strike like from Apocalypse Now? Yep, yes. we need some yep. napalm along the tree line. <laughs> no, we're not monsters, we're moral people, and yet we have the strength to do this. This is the splendor of our achievement. Call in the airstrike with a poison kiss. Uh, roll initiative for me there, sir, standard, because I know. Broken arrow. <laughs> yeah, <Right. old. laughs> Gentlemen, it's been a lovely freaking war. Final defensive fire on my coordinates. Okay. Uh, all right. Here's what's happening. Vroog, you're going to be taking uh, three because they haven't 
been able to circle around you. Basically, it's going to be three on Frug, three on John, three on each men at arms. And they're like, there's enough confusion in their ranks that they're uh, not very well sort of mobbing around you guys. So uh, let's do three on Vrug. AC uh, negative one. This is not going to be easy for them. Uh, in fact, it is uh, no hits. Uh, three on John. Uh, John has unfortunately struck a couple of times and he is hit with... Let's see. Purple of alarms. Uh, yeah, this is going to be. Um, these are going to be spears, spears to John. So, uh, so John takes, uh, he bears up under it. Um, three on man at arms number one, who was fortunately awake, uh, but unfortunately. Does take a couple of uh, spear stabs uh, and just goes down unconscious. Yep. That is. No, that was Finkel. I like Finkel. Well, Finkel only takes four points, so he's he's good. Well, threads at negative one. Right. Uh, and that is one on your third one. Yep. Four and the fourth one uh, is not hit. Wait, is that an eighteen or is that? Yeah, that was an eighteen. So he does take a. They have to hit AC two. All right. Well, they did in that case. All right. So we have what two minute arms that took four, one that took seven, and the third one. Is uh, five. The third one took six. He's still up though. He's he's still no, fighting. he's down. They they have six oh, hit points. Wait. He is down. Okay, all right. Yep. But he's at zero. He's yep. not he's not gonna die. So yep. one is dying, two are wounded, one is unconscious. Missile fire, please. Tarthano's rage. Take your shot. Use Come on, the man. And oh, and praying. <laughs> Mood. Okay. Uh Ring of Shooting Stars. Ring of Shooting Stars. Creature in the path must save versus or be impacted by upon the missile. And are, are, are you just blasting this right in front of you? Where are you aiming this there, Marius? In the middle of the pack. I'm muted, damn it. Uh, I'm aiming it to the middle, and I'm okay. trying to split it up so they would be next to each other and not all in the same spot. Okay, so overlapping or slightly overlapping, but not not uh... right. Yes, creatures within the burst radius must save versus magic to take only one half damage, i.e., twelve points. I it's, they're dead. Yeah, it's it's not going to be relevant, and I'm not rolling a bunch of uh, I'm not rolling a bunch of saving throws except for the uh, the leader types. So um, I'm going to say. You're hitting nine nine nine. So yeah, twenty seven uh, hobgoblins are now dead, and there's a couple of leader types back there uh, who are also dead or very sleepy. <laughs> so you just uh, incinerated uh, twenty. Uh, is 27 uh, 29 of the hot goblins. Um, take that, amazing. I don't feel so good, but can it damn even the heavens hate ring you? Coming handy. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. uh, so the hot goblins are not having a good time right now. Uh, Vrug, <laughs> do your thing. Does my sleep spell go off? Oh, your sleep spell. I'm sorry, 2d4, two, two please. Um. All right, I got a 40 yard range. Who can I hit with that? I don't care any any group of them you want to. All right, so I get six. Um, how many are on Vrug? Uh, three. Three are on Vrug. So if you're trying to catch the front line, you will get three on Vrug and you will get three on John. I'm going to do that. Okay. So point, they're down. 
but there's there's still ample within dancing around and stabbing uh, range for you, or you can auto kill one of the ones that has fallen at your feet. No, I'm going to continue to attack the combatants. Thank okay. you. All right. Um, nine. That would be AC four. Thirteen. Yeah. So you you hit another one. I think just your casual strength may kill them. So. Ten yeah. points. You, you slay another one. Um, <coughs> weighs in with his mace, or uh, with his sword. Nine, ten. Uh, yeah. They cling to life, but soon they shall be, they shall be bereft of it. Uh, it better. Next up is um, it's going to be uh, Mobius Duran. All right, uh, wait in, smack him with the flail. That's going to hit you. Flail one, bonk on the head. I'll be seven. Seven. Um, let me see. Of this bunch that's up front and what's left of them. Oh yeah, that that's that's sufficient. Split his noodle. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh you split his wig. Uh you catch him on the yard without his paper, then you split his wig. Uh Mark, how about Grimsby? Uh, he was using his sling at a leader type, but I think the leader types are dead. But he'll... Uh, not all of them. You can let fly. Okay, then I shall. This is at plus three. Uh, that doesn't... It won't help. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> you hear the stone whistle behind you somewhere and splash <laughs> in the surf. <laughs> Bang, zoom to the moon. <laughs> all right. Okay. So the hobgoblins, the hobgoblins, um, yeah, <laughs> the hobgoblins. <laughs> they check morale and run away. Uh, that that very well may be the case. That very well may be the case. Because they have taken more than 25% casualties and given very few. Okay, I know what the Hobgoblins are doing in the next round. Let's get party declarations. How about Brute Dorn? Attacking anything in front of me. All right. Um, Sir Standard. Um, I'm going to start using arrows. They're within a hundred and they're within 150 yards. I was hoping you were going to rain fire from the sky. All I'm right, not wasting about... a fireball. Are you kidding? <laughs> how about Tarth? Got to go with the uh, crossbow again. All righty. It's, it's your time, man. I feel it. I feel it. I, feel it. I can't keep rolling this crap. I mean, come on. Go into it. Oh, no. <laughs> More time at the range for you, mister. <laughs> All right, Mobius, how about Duran? You going to split them by the wig? Yeah, I'm just moving on to the next one. All right. Uh, Kevin, how about Marius? Uh, anything worth casting shooting stars is probably worth casting lightning balls at. <laughs> <laughs> how many? <laughs> I'm going to do, I'm going to do two. But they last four rounds. So you can move them around like uh, a flaming spear. Yes. Yeah, too much. <laughs> burr, 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 burr. <laughs> okay. Um, Men at arms are going to stabilize. Okay. Uh, men at arms are stabilizing men at arms. John is continuing to fight. Uh, Mark is going to be going to sling. Slingshot. Twink. Alrighty, let's roll initiative. And uh, Tim, would you roll initiative for the party, please? I don't know if I want to. At this, point. this should be good for a few. It's okay. We don't want you to either. A four. <laughs> that's, that's above nice. average. Yes. Average. <laughs> There you go. Vindicated. All right. Well, missile fire first. Uh, take your first arrow shot, please. Oh, sure. That will hit one of them. I finally Yay. hit something. All right. There you go. Roll your damage. And then... Quarrel is D4. 
Oh, for fuck's sake. No, it's a D4. It's a D4. For oh, okay, 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 okay. Ah. Four. And that kills one of them. Ah, 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 thud. Finally. That arrow shot hits. <laughs> that and, arrow shot hits. All right. Thum, thum, uh, thum. Let's see. That kills one of them. And that does not. That, that, that does not kill one of them. Um, and uh, the, let's see. Mark, go ahead. Uh, an 11 won't hit anything, probably. You're getting better, though. It actually uh, went towards them, and you hear it. <laughs> that, that was a tracer shot. That was a tracer yeah, shot. There you go. You're bracketing them. You know, it's like. Okay, they're not behind you. <laughs> they're not 200 yards away. in the sights. Exactly. Uh, let's see. Now, now we have uh, two lightning balls. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna move it. Or I'm gonna have them move around our guys, and then just go back towards the the leadership. If there's people in the way, then they're in the way. Not us people, uh, hobgoblin people. Okay, so they're three inches. They're they're three feet in diameter. Sorry, right. and they can move forty <laughs> foot around. Up to okay. 120 foot. So, so or 30 like, yards. I'm sorry, 40 yards around. We're outside. You're going to Bermuda lawn nowhere, this thing. They're packed closely uh, enough together uh, that you're going to get a trio at least. They, they were well ordered ranks when you guys let into them, and it's only been a few minutes. The panic hasn't quite taken hold. Um, so, roll the first ball. And you're going to roll 5d4. Okay, I got it. It's in the chain. There it is. 11. 11. Okay. Uh, well, there may actually be save versus halves that could save some bacon here. Uh, so we're going to do this group. One, two, three. If they were orcs, it would really be bacon. Um, I can't see what those dice are, but I don't think any of that saves. So four, eight, eight, and fourteen is what uh, goes in the back room. Fourteen is save versus magic. So no, I gotta look. Thank you. Uh, roll right. your next group of damage before I go. Fourteen. That one hurts more. All right. Uh, and I will row, roll. I'm going to do this because the dice stack up and I can't see it good. So 13, a possible save. A possible save. And no save. So uh, there are at least three of them dead. All right. Uh, and let's see. Saving throw matrices. Okay. These guys are... Oh yeah, no, 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 none of them, no. All right. So you you electro crisp three of them. Hey, wheeling dragon. Okay. So the last last roll. Eleven again. Eleven. Okay. I forgot you were doing three. Yeah. Bill's like so glad I gave you that magic item. No, no, I'm sorry, Bill. That's two. Don't don't count that last one. Okay. It's two. All right. All right. Yeah, I marked it. All right. So, yeah, yeah. That's that's six more. Is is there anything else you people are going to do, Vroog? Go ahead and make your attack. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I got I got to cut one of them's head off. Oh. oh. No, nah, that's not gonna work. Not this time. Uh, yeah, you kind of stagger and bump into John who drives his sword into one uh, and kills it outright. He claps you on the nice. shoulder. Thank you for the assist, battle brother. It's the least I could do. Ha ha! Okay. My turn. Uh, the hobgoblins are dropping everything and getting the hell out of Dodge. You guys have killed um, uh, two-fifths of them, I think, at this point. Uh, so yeah, they are in, they are in a panicked route away from you guys. Should we track them? I'm gonna have the shooting stars or follow the flaming flaming spheres follow them 
and hit them if it can. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, the, they're they can only move so fast, and they're hindered by the bodies and so forth. So, uh, roll again. This will teach you to mess with whoever we are. <laughs> That's 14. 14, okay. Weird rules. And 11. That's and 11. like those two numbers are the yeah. only ones I could roll. Right? 11, 14, 11, 14. 14. Something, 11. something average, something. Yeah. I got a bunch of no saves. And, uh, Two of them save for half. Unfortunately, uh, half uh, 11 is still enough to kill them. Um, so let's see. That was I'm trying to do the math here because there's still a bunch that are asleep. <laughs> oh, they're climbing down and murdering people. Oh, we're going to need to stab those with, with uh, uh, daggers. Right, get the slavers on right them. Through the back Rip their hand. throats out. I mean, really, you can stab them with anything. You know, rusty spoons, pointy sticks. It doesn't, as long as you stab them, it's fine. Okay. I'm following this band. Anyone with me? No. Yeah, I'm going to go on. put armor on before we do that. <laughs> okay, so you guys, let's see. The shooting stars was 27. The sleep was uh, 15. 13 and so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to calculate this here. There was some confusion too. We didn't re-roll, but I don't know how long her confusion lasts, Bill. It's based it, on it, level. It, yeah, I think it, all it, the it, ones it, that were confused died. Oh, did they? <laughs> yeah. All right, so we had 15 plus 13 plus uh 29 plus six. And then uh, you just barbecued three, six, nine, eleven. Uh, well, no, twelve. So plus twelve. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's about two dozen of them left to exit the field, and most of those are leader types. They they are fleeing as quickly as they can. They're just running down a road, basically, or some they're sort of pathway. Running back into the darkness over the hills, they're not. They're not paying attention to the road. They're right, right. Yelling and running. Um, still kind of keeping a rank, rank sort of, but it may just be because they're headed towards the same place. Yeah, we might find it there, and we might not. We just gave those hob uh, those hobgoblins some really, really bad PTSD. Yeah, exactly. Sounds great. Um, I mean, if they hadn't tried to kill us, we could have at least, yeah. But anyway, um, they at least tried to kill us first. Uh, do we, but seriously, do you all want to try and track them while we do the knife work here? Because maybe, just maybe, they'll have a layer. Maybe, just maybe, we'll get treasure. Uh, hobgoblins hoard much, but we would have to go now. I mean, by all means, go now. Garth has no go. armor. I can, I catch can up. run across the step as far as I can run across the hills. Go ahead, I'm, run. I was built for speed. We'll follow you eventually. I'll, I'll follow along with no armor on for some bizarre reason. Yeah, and I'll, I'll follow as well. I'll follow as well. <laughs> Pre, bringing my sword, my uh, two daggers, and my crossbow. Oh, He's just hopping uh, along, pulling on just, greaves. Just and, hoping uh, my underwear doesn't fall off. I'll instruct all the slaves, and this is how you stab an orc. There you go. I've got one. They should be thirsty. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, a couple of the women and some of the men will definitely help finish the uh, the hobgoblins off, but most of them, it, it's to, it, it's pretty distasteful to them. Not in the sense, oh, no, we don't want to hurt, just like, it's They've never taken lives yep. before. They're not um, adventurers. Yeah, exactly. Grimsby's going to help uh, dispatching hobgoblins and start collecting their purses. 
Who can can someone please take a look at our men at arms and see if anybody can be saved while we're chasing um, down the hobgoblins? They are they are stable. So one's at negative one, but stable. So he's stable to zero. The other is at zero. So they're fine. They're just going to need time to rest. Okay. Oh, you know what? Okay, so in their numbers, I wasn't counting the dozen that Yahtzee hit with confusion that literally just stand there. So there, there's a few rounds in which they are. I I, I need to I need to kind of retcon this guys and see what they're going to do because that was four rounds after she hit them with confusion. So let's see the next round. I thought they were the ones that got hit with those meteor balls. Were they the ones that you hit with the meteor balls? No. If you read the spell, it has to affect the ones in front first. Okay. So, yeah. All right. I I could stay back and longsword and and you know sword those guys and, and catch up to Vrug when we're done with the, dealing with the confusion. It's not going to be hard to track Vrug and a bunch of heavily armored hobgoblins running really through the forest. <laughs> it's really not. It's not. <laughs> Vroog, just fart every, like, 50 feet. We'll find you. It'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they wander not a problem. Away. They kind of wander off away from you guys. Then they just sort of stand there for a few minutes. And then you hear the sound of them hacking at each other. So they're, they're in the process of wiping each other out. So it's actually less than that. Um, That's got to be god-awful. Poor Vinger. He says, all those potential polearm attacks wasted. But were they Grizarm? Or Glaive uh, were, Grizarms? Or Grizarm Glaives? Or what? Volge Glaives, Glaive Guizarms, Bill Guizarms, uh, Lockaber Axes, uh, you name it. Bill Hooks. Yeah. A pointy Bill stick. Hook. Best kind. A dagger <laughs> tied to a stick. And Bill exactly. Hook is still the best hook. All right, so Vrug, you're actually pursuing more like 13 of them. I'm, I'm with them. I ran. Okay. And this, yeah. uh, there were even a few Beck de Corbins, Damien. That's, I, I'm <laughs> feeling there. There were some Beck de Corbins. Beck but de Corbins. So, DMs out there in the audience, let me tell you what. Don't be afraid of the many, potentially hundreds of humanoids attack against your party. Here was a group of fourth and fifth level adventurers that by immediately going into a synchronized fire drill was able to take down almost a hundred hog goblins. So already, uh Vrug, roll initiative for me. Mm -hmm. Here's to hoping there's not a hundred more where we're going. <laughs> well, we can always do the same thing again. So uh, two. Sleep spells cost me nothing. I actually I have a third sleep spell I can use too. Yeah, I, I don't though. Mm -hmm. The spells that I did, I don't can't do again today. So. Well, no, I can't do them again today. Oh, okay. Just, I, got one just, more sleep, I got one more sleep spell for today. They move before you do, and they move 90 yards. You can still hear them. They're not trying to be quiet, but they're in that pre-dawn darkness somewhere out there getting away from you. Uh Although with your plate mail, your fleet of foot and your strength, so you can catch up to them. Um, okay, Vrug, let's go. Well, I don't know if do we want to catch up to them or are we just kind of following them back to their lair. All right. Um, give me another initiative roll, and uh, Tim, that's on you. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I said no, but there it is. You guys, you guys catch up to you guys catch up to them. Um, if you want to attack them now, for them to disengage and move away, you're going to be striking them at plus four. Should we let them proceed? See if their lair is here. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it, we'd we'd like to. I think um, chase keep a them back to the lair. behind them, yeah. and and just see where they're going. You know, without without being notified, being that we could hopefully keep up with them. You know, it, it, maybe we can move a little slower to try to make a little less noise in doing so. Okay, 
Well, I mean, you have gained on. Uh, you are right on their heels, and you're not. You know, you're not. You're not quiet. Um, all right. Uh, one of the hobgoblins turns and faces and says, "It's just the two of you. We'll have our revenge." It's just the two of us. Uh, they, they, they draw their weapons and rush back at you guys. Um, they forgot about me. <laughs> <laughs> they forgot about me. Too. Can't count well. You, you guys are several hundred yards away from, away from the party. Um, it is damn hard for Tarth to see because it's you know it's it's pre dawn yet, but. Um, what are you guys doing that looks like they're turning to face you? Uh, are we within like combat engagement? Or oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, you yeah. Can... I'm just going to attack then. Mm-hmm. All right. The uh, loudmouth one. All right. Roll initiative. Is there there's somebody with me, right? Yeah, yes. Please. Your fellows are with you. Uh, Tar's going to attack as well. I am. I have no armor, but I'm attacking anyway because I enjoy dying. <laughs> Don't point that thing at me. <laughs> hey, is Mary is doing something? I am. Yeah. Are there trees? This is forested. Uh, no. This is actually kind of plains. Bushes? Anything that that yeah, a web is sticking yeah, to? There, there's there's some scrub here and around. All right. There's I'm gonna the web these guys. If I can, uh, there are not really enough anchor points for that. No, oh, damn it! It's okay. gonna look like you sneezed into a sock. Ew. Yeah, not, not, not. Yeah, I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> let's just. Uh, I'm gonna throw some darts, I guess. Great. Somebody sneezes, and you want to keep it. All right. Um, uh, let's All right. See. Cool. So now roll initiative. Now roll initiative. Yeah. Would that be me, one of these guys? Um, Mobius, roll for Duran. You don't want me doing that crap right now. (laughs) Simultaneous. All right, it's a bit of tie. They have spears. They'll go last, gentlemen. All righty, then. Die, dogs. Nice. Bark, bark. For those of you worried, he he's he's German. He just said the dogs, the. <laughs> yeah, seven points. All right, um, sixteen will hit. Did my seven kill one of them dudes? Uh, did your seven kill? No, it did not. Did my seven kill one of them dudes? Uh, no, it did not. Darn. I'm attacking those two guys. No, I'm attacking guys that aren't attacking them because I don't want to hit my own guys. Okay, are you? Are, 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 that is a hit. Also, are you? Yes. Are, are you? Are you driving lightning balls around? Um. They well, if they're more than 120 feet, if that was the range maximum. Do they follow with me or not? Well, yeah, of course they'd follow. With okay. You. Well, then, yeah, I'm not doing anything until those balls are gone. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna hit them with the balls. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you will. <laughs> I've got balls. I that was Tarek that was running around with no clothes on. <laughs> balls of spells. Okay. Um, so, zap, zap. Let's do some saving throws here. And give me another 5d4, please. 13. Hey, new number. All right. Oh, somebody saved. Yeah. Somebody saved for half. Uh, do you want to roll your other one? Yep. Uh, 12. Twelve. Yeah, another number. Nice. This is an RNG. <laughs> and uh, no saves there. So, yeah, they're, they're bright flashes and crackling discharges. And when your night vision kind of comes back to you, there's only a couple of hobgoblins left. Excuse me. You chose wisely. Ha! <laughs> now you won't die tired. Okay. 
All right, so these remaining hobgoblins. Um, yeah, they're they they they've seen how this movie's gonna end. Cowards! We just want to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I think we ran all be friends. <laughs> Can't we all just well, get clearly along? I'm going to attack anything that runs away. <laughs> okay, chase it back to the lair. Well, just, how many? How many are left? Which yeah. way are they going this time? Now? Like five. There, there's, there's five left. They just, they throw down their weapons. They, they, you know, swirling balls of electricity literally just exploded bunches around them and uh the one that didn't explode is lying on the ground twitching um okay you scum show us where your lair is <laughs> yes where's your lair uh it, it is it is a way a the drink and scrub it, 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 it is it is a fortress yeah, yeah. Surely you have not traveled that far. Uh, we 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 have we we received orders from our from 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 our our uh, our lords in in the city. They 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 asked for help. The orcs were not strong enough. They asked us to come and help them. And you would have us believe there is no hobgoblin war in. Anywhere near here? N not, not near here. It is far away. We, we, we marched far uh, for this. I'm gonna put. Would you say the same if I cut your friend's head off? I'm gonna put the little lightning balls on both sides of that dude. No, your. I'm sorry, your lightning balls are exhausted at this oh, point. Oh damn it! Son of a. Oh, I'll have to be brute force dead. <laughs> Is the answer the same if I cut his throat? I mean, there's a there's, there's an easier solution instead. Don't don't cut his throat yet. He can't speak. Pull his pants down. Uh, Just gonna punch him in the face. <laughs> See if that solves the problem. Uh. Yeah, so uh, he he doesn't want to be depanced. Um, he says, T -t "Please, I, I I swear to you on the throne of of the the great red bloody handed one. Our fortress is far away in the in the Trinkets Crab Hills." And if we let you go, then what? Uh, Your marauders again. No, 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 you, you have, you have proven your might and your power. You have destroyed our, our legion. No, I leave it to Tarth. Oh, mighty <clears throat> Lord. Well, Tarth. Well, thank you. Who, who, who in the city is ordering you to attack us? Yeah, I think we need to figure that out. It, it, we, we were told to go to the burned temple to go to the burned temple and assist those who were selling slaves oh, we we saw your numbers and thought perhaps you were they but we, oh we, we are <laughs> so we just became confused and and unfortunate things happened who who told you those things who's the one that gave you those orders we 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 received the orders at at our at our encampment. We were dispatched here by by other other men, powerful men, strong men. So you have an encampment after all. We told you we did <laughs> in the fortress far in the hills. They said, go to the city that has been taken by the orcs and the goblins and go to the ruined temple and assist the slavers in keeping the, the, the rebels and the troublemakers out. Well, whatever we do, 
can't just let them walk away. Yeah, Cut Rogue and Tars have to help us go. get them to recover their memory. Because <laughs> this is not... It seems unreasonable. How many Somebody days has walk? to know a name. How many days walk is your, your encampment? Uh, per perhaps a, a fortnight away in the Draken's Grab. There are mountains to climb and forests to traverse, but you are mighty warriors. Surely you will have no problems going there if you wish to, but the fortress was emptied out by us. It lays defenseless now. Might I recommend we just bring him to our employers? We and are let, taking you to Barnicus. And let our employers That's where deal you with shall it. Go. That, that is a city of humans. We have no business there. Uh, you have no business here either. If, if I let no you go. There, you won't cause trouble. And if exactly. The that they left is You'll be place. sold into slavery with the rest. We could send the slaves there. Well, yeah, we're sending the slaves to Barnicus. That's yeah, the idea. Yeah, that's where we're going. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take this guy with us. How many, up, dogs. How many are well, there's, there's five of them, right? Yeah, there's there's five of them. This is a like a a, a sub chief or sub leader type. The highest one ring. false moves gets a killing. Well, I'm glad we're not going biblical on them. Got any of those manacles <laughs> left from the slaves? Uh, no. No, uh, no we'll just tie these guys up once we get them back. Assuming we get them back. I'm still a fan of making them streak their way home. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't not, know not, if I believe the story of the fortnight to the uh, to the lair. I think we should take him back and uh, uh, turn him over. Yeah, take but, them back and turn them over. Yep, agreed. All right, let's go back to our encampment so I can put my armor on finally. <laughs> <laughs> when they call him the streak. You look all nice and shiny. Now you can go back to sleep. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, it is a good night's sleep ruined, but um, so your men at arms have been stabilized. Uh, they will not perish. Um, some of the braver of the slaves that you freed have actually uh, it, they they've they've gathered up a bit of weaponry. Um, you notice when you get back, some of them uh, have swords and scabbards on their hips. Good. And at the very least, you think that perhaps they'll be able to defend themselves should it come to it. Um, and you see a couple with uh, with bows, although they seem to be. The the bows are uh, recurved horn bows, so you're not you're not sure they they're kind of a little uncertain about the pull on them. Um, Can I swap out my short bow for one of them? I'd love a composite short bow. Absolutely, you can have a composite short bow. And how many arrows can I get a hold of? Uh, let's see. There were sixteen. We'll say that each had uh, a full quarrel. Uh, some of them were burnt up, so I'm going to say you can get about 30 arrows. I, I don't even need that. I only, I just, I just wanted enough to 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 get my two sheaves back. Okay, yeah, that's easy, easy to do. All yeah. right, let's ask the slaves. Has anyone searched the bodies for anything of value? Th there's nothing on the bodies <laughs> anymore. <laughs> we don't, not anymore. Uh -huh. <laughs> to, uh -huh. What did Grimsby find? So then he was <laughs> Uh, the party. 689 gold pieces, Grimsby. Yeah, there's there's, so there's only nothing 20, there. There's Grimsby. only 20 gold pieces. Sorry. sorry, sorry. Uh, there's all there's also a bunch of copper too. Uh, so 689. All these pennies. Pieces. And uh, okay, right, these play. pennies are more than these slaves have had in forever. Yeah. So. But, 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 they can start collecting those. Uh, yeah, I tell the party about the 680 uh, gold pieces. <laughs> 600. <laughs> 
I, so I, you you do, you do that roundup for Jerry's kids yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's just uh, you know, it's fractions of pennies. It's fractions of pennies. Right. Um, <laughs> fun fact: Grimsby is halfling for salami slicer. Um, if and you uh, at the, the mention of the the Drakens Grab uh, hideout, uh, Grimsby's like, "Wait, wait a second! Did we find a map?" And he pulls out an old map that you found it went somewhere in the somewhere in the dungeon. And with a bunch of mountains and dragons grab written on it. I think that's all I had written in my notes. So the people in the temple knew about this. It kind of backs up their story. So that means that somebody is having them hunt us then. Yeah. Maybe after we go to Barnicus, we should go to the dragons grab. Maybe. Okay. Uh, by the way, if you guys care, it's fifteen hundred and ninety-one copper pieces. Well, that's, that's almost real money. Wait a second. That's fifteen hundred and ninety-one copper pieces the slaves get to start their new lives with. Damn straight. Uh, that's that's 70, seventy-two copper a piece. That that is uh, uh, potentially a uh, you know a month's wage depending on their jobs. Well, it's infinite wages for their previous job. Yeah, compared compared to <laughs> that's there practically is. eight gold pieces. Wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the one all the ones that came up and killed hobgoblins, I'm making sure they get paid first. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, they help. <laughs> there you go. So that shouldn't have been. It's like what seven silver each, basically. Uh, yeah. uh, no, distribute out evenly. It's three, like three silver, ten copper each. Right. Oh, was it twenty copper to a silver? Yeah. Wow. Holy Dude, man, copper, copper really is worthless. Maybe in these. Yeah, and uh, for by the way, it's uh, Gary. Gary actually had bronze and iron pieces in his uh, Gord the Rogue books. Imagine something that is worth less than like I, I think it was like one hundred iron pieces to a bronze, and like fifty bronze to a copper. <laughs> so I don't know of anything that's worth so little. Sure, you do a bronze piece. That's a... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I mean, in like like bread, it's worth a lot more than that. <laughs> okay, so hey, uh, in the in, in the modern world, it actually costs two point seven cents or something to mint a penny. So let's not be mean here. And that's yeah. not even yeah, real. I was copper. gonna say that's not yeah. even real yeah. copper anymore. Cost is it's... much different than value. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's like when people say, "Well, you know, our fellow fellow D and D nerds," and I've heard this a lot, and I've said it before myself. You know, let me. Uh, uh, I'll put, uh, let me put my two copper pieces in. Two copper pieces is 3.2 ounces of copper, which yeah. is worth a, a not insignificant amount of money. It's certainly worth more than two cents. <laughs> we'll also remember the world standard used to be silver, not gold, but hey. Yes. Um, I, so anyone can Google that if you want to see what today's uh, metal prices are for 3.2 cents of uh, 3.2 ounces of copper, but it's certainly more than than two American pennies. Well, so one, one ounce is per twenty ounce is four dollars and twenty nine cents. So there you go. <laughs> All right. Um, next day. You're on the march. You're I'm wearing my armor this time, right? <laughs> you're wearing your armor. This time. Um, now, if, you, if you're on watch, you don't have to say, you know, well, I'll wake up and then I'll be outside of my armor. I'm assuming that whoever is on watch is wearing their armor on watch. That would kind of defeat the purpose of being on watch, you know, and be like, you know, we're regarding the regarding the perimeter with a tank crew. You mean a tank? No, a tank crew. That's no. Yep. Um, all right. Third day as you march along. So uh, I, I should have recovered my con by now, right? Absolutely. Okay, cool. Absolutely. Just want to make sure. And our spells have recovered and yeah. Okay. Sorry to yeah. interrupt. 
good. Uh-oh, he's got a smirk. Oh. oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, no, no, go ahead, ask. Oh, I was going to say, no, 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 no. I was, um, um, uh, Marius, I need, um, actually, I'm going to need to borrow your sleep, your magic missile to refill the ring. But that's yeah, it. I've, been, yeah. I've been doing that while you've been gone, anyway. I don't I'm have just... magic missile. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I don't have magic missile. Okay, so the magic missile's gone. Okay, I thought you had magic missile. No, I couldn't learn it the first time. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh man okay that's fair so i okay the fans were right i got one use of magic missile more than i should have i am sorry fans all, all right. one of you <laughs> <laughs> there's always that one guy always that one guy yeah, oh, I'm sorry, fan. <laughs> all right so um you march on midnight of the third day who is on watch please i'll be I'll on be. Watch. <laughs> I, well, I was going to actually mention, I mean, it doesn't matter, but I was going to actually mention when he was talking about armor and stuff that Vrug's typical MO is to take like the midnight watch and then get that sleep in the morning and then get up. But I'm I'm totally cool with changing that. As Sorry, is, mid, is midnight people, first watch? I usually take first. As many people. Right. And that's like eight to 12 or something, right? DM, that's but your call. People can be on watch as you guys want to. Uh, midnight. Is yeah, midnight I, first watch. Yeah. But he fights over the first watch. No, I took my watch. Everybody goes to sleep. It could be the yep. last yeah, one. It, sleep from midnight till dawn. It's it's up to yep. you. All right. Well, you know what? I, I take first watch. Let's just say first watch begins 10 o'clock. The camp shut down at 10 o'clock. And I'm 10 to 12. And then somebody's like 12 to 2. Somebody's two to four. Okay. Yeah, that works. And then that, that way cool? we're basically caught changing shifts pretty much. Yeah, yeah. And then we know like from here out, you know, kind of yep. who's doing what when. Uh, Robert Phillips asks, are iron pieces called dabbers and gray hot? I thought it was the Rilk, but I may be confusing that with the works of uh of um oh who did the Rilks? Uh I'll have to go back and check, but no, I think I, I, I think it is dabber. It's uh, iron dabbers, bronze Z's, and uh, then there's there's uh, stuff after that. Anyway, midnight of the third day. Um, you and I believe that oh, I'm sorry, but just to square it away, I believe that would be Tarth. I believe that would be after our shift change. Yes. Right. Okay. So you are, uh, whoever is on watch is on watch. You are not surprised by the sound of heavy footfalls approaching your camp. You see in the distance, perhaps some 10 yards coming over a low dune. You see many, many large humanoids. They're Very spread cool. out in a staggered line. One kind of stops, scratches his nose, and yells out something in ogrish. And then you see more mounting the doom. So over there, there are seven total. So go okay. wake wake up Farouk. <laughs> Say halt. Kick Farouk awake as I'm telling them to halt and ask who they are. Ah. <laughs> What, what, what's going on? Here's I'll get I, you back. Here's where I pull out the wand. Okay. Uh, they kind of hesitate for a minute, and one of them yells in halting, uh, halting common at your group. Food and loot! Give it to us! I think we have to say no, <laughs> and I'm going to attack the speaker. Okay. Um, um, how far um, away? Tell Varug to wake everybody else up. Yeah, he, <laughs> these, these guys are only 10 yards away as they cross that dune, so they are definitely in melee range. Um, um, so... Any chance I can get that wand off before he does? Uh, it's gonna it's gonna come down to to initiative. 
it's going to come down to initiative. Oh, no, I meant before Karth does. I can wait if you're going to use the one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I will absolutely let you guys coordinate. Uh, so how about Vrug? Uh, yeah. So um, am I sufficiently awake then? Like I can go like, yeah, I'm, I'm charging one of these dudes. Sure. Seven plus ogres, yeah, you bet. Like that's that's, that's yeah, one. man, who cares? It's, it's, it's seven total. It. It's, it's seven total. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, I there were more than seven. Okay, no, no, no. Uh, I will say that they're spread out far enough. If if you're gonna hit them with a fireball, you're gonna get the left half of the line or the right half of the line, but not all of them. Just yeah, right, like they wouldn't be in a tight pack, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, um, Sir Standard is wanding, Tarth Nose Rage, you're going to wait for that and then close in the next round. Um, Mobius, how about Duran? Uh, as I see, uh, Sir Standard reaching into that pocket, I know the wands are in, I'm holding back a little bit. Okay. Uh, Marius, uh, is, Marius is the only one who wasn't like, I'm awake for watch. So, uh, <laughs> Marius, what are you doing? Uh, well, I mean, I'll I'll prepare to cast web if I can, if I have to web them together. <laughs> target, target, target. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. Um, yes. Mark, you about collectively Grimsley? tied their shoelaces together. Yes, effectively. Yes. Uh, Grimsby will try to uh, use his sling. Okay. I mean, you don't need to try. You can. It's just the the hitting. Uh, well, I tried twice before and I failed both times. So let's see. How yeah, that's you know. Fourth time to charm. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, I think we got down to, uh, to to you, Kevin, for initiative. So why don't you give right. us a decent roll, buddy? Yep. Hi, damn it. Yes, four. Nice. Four high enough. There you go. Okay. So uh, one of fireballs. Yeah. It Good now luck. has it now has one to six charges. Or it now it now has one to five charges left. Okay. Uh, I have one possible save there. Uh, it's six dice. Thank you, sir. Thirty-five total. Thirty-five total. So let me pull up my notes here. Oh wait, sorry, 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 sorry. Hold up, hold up. I have to reroll that. I rolled oh, eight so, six. Yeah, eight I rolled eight six, not sixty six. It should be six. Yeah. I was gonna say six. <laughs> Uh, that's but that's better. Seventeen. That's much more like it. All right. So let's see here. Seventeen. All right. So I'm going to say these. Uh, one of them chars and dies instantly. Uh, one of them is in really horrible shape, and uh, another one is in pretty bad shape. Uh, now they scream in pain and they wade into battle. Uh, missile fire, please. I'm sorry, Bill. I had a I had a charge and then I didn't I didn't oh, want to you interrupt. Were you were char. Oh, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Uh, no, no, it's no problem. All right. Uh, because it sounded like they were far enough away that his fireball wouldn't catch me anyway. Ten feet is. Still, or, well, 10 yards out of doors, you know, basically melee space is enough room to charge. So you can, you can get them. Uh, you can definitely get them. Okay. Well, if it's, if it's confusion on my part, I'll just take a regular attack. Okay. All right. Or, um, you know, you can, you can move to a group that's not having a fireball detonated over them and attack. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, now? Yes, yes, please. Thank you, sir. Uh, that's a 20, which would be a hit. And this is a large target. Yes, sir. Oof. Six points. Six points. Ah, well, okay. Alrighty. It, uh, it, ah! And raises his weapon up to hit you. Um, okay. Uh, missile fire. Uh, 
let's see. You might have gotten them. That that's plus three, right? I can't hear you if you're talking, Mark. Yes, it was plus three, right. so twelve total. A uh, twelve total. So let's see here. A twelve total. Have a quick gander at the old charts here. And in case you guys are wondering, I know a lot of people come in and they're like, oh, I'd love to play AD&D, but man, I can't do Thaco. Uh, AD&D doesn't use Thaco. It uses tables, which are fairly easy to consult. Thief. Uh, so it's a 12 total. I think it's an AC. For now. your fifth level Thief, that will not hit. Zing. But you got closer. Yay. Getting better. Getting yeah, your narrowing it down uh the rationale for larger creatures taking more damage they have huge guts plus one internet points to anyone who, in the audience who can tell me what that reference is for okay um that uh concludes the round the ogres are very angry and are going to start beating on you guys to express their anger so i'm getting melee from Vrug. sir standard what are you doing i am charging with my spear Charging with the capital C? Yes. Okay. Uh, Into the uh, injured ones. How about Tarth Nose Raid? Running in with my sword. Stabbing uh, whatever's closest. Charging with a capital C or just moving to strike? Just moving to strike. Okay. Uh, Mobius, how about Duran? Uh, Duran's charging in with the spell. Okay. Uh, Marius Isol. Yeah, I'm, I'm casting that web if I, if I get a chance. Okay. Uh, and oh, yeah. Mark, how about Grimsby? Uh, Kenny, is there ones he can take a shot at and not hit his friends? Oh, most assuredly. Then he'll do that. Yeah, I, I, I mean, uh, yes, you're all, all your friends are technically engaged in melee, but these things are huge. The odds that you'll actually hit one of your allies is diminishingly small. I'm still going to roll for it, though. <laughs> yes. I apologize in advance to whoever I hit. It's okay. Hey, It'll Sir Stan, uh, uh, Sir Average ha had a, a PFP uh, character with a spear in the back of his head. Perhaps Sir Standard will wind up with a dent in his helmet. Yeah. It happens. All right. That's Greg, what, that would killed him. Uh, th true. Uh, that it, Damien and Greg Myers both uh, that from the Doom comic. Rip and tear. Um, all right. Charges go first. Those of you what are charging, please do your charging. You want to go first? Uh, sure. So you're going to take plus two. You will not get a shield bonus to your armor class. Yep. Yes, Kabuki, there was a Doom comic to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Doom, and it is gloriously bad. That's the best kind of bad. And yet it became such a meme that it made its way into wow. Brutal Doom, uh, a 12, and uh, and Doom uh, 2016. That's a 2016. It, it is, the Doom comic is considered canon, which just blows my mind. All right, so Cleric uh, 12, that will miss, unfortunately. That's a 23 for me. Uh, that will miss on no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you missed your allies. Let, let me put that in terms of fat code. That's like a negative five. Um, I, I also, get that the DM is always right, but in this case, the DM is wrong. Eight damage. <laughs> eight damage, Bill. Uh, all right. Please eight tell me I finished one off. Well, let's see. So you you went after the you went after the burned ones, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm running into the the wounded mass of burned ones, <laughs> trying to finish one off. And you did eight. Yes, eight. you finished one of them off. There are now five. Uh, there are now five of them left. Okay. Um, now we'll roll initiative. And uh, Mark, it is your turn, please. Excellent. Uh, two. Two. Okay. Hey, I could roll one. I didn't, but I could. But you, yeah, but you won't. All right. Uh, so up there in melee, we have one, two, three, four, four. 
All right. So. Oh, that absolutely misses Rug. 13. Uh, what is Tarth's armor class? Uh, and we are including the the uh, ring of protection. I have and the armor. Four armor class with a plus one ring of protection. All right. So let's see. Four, three. So unfortunately, that will hit you. So he rears back and smacks you with a bardi. She's using as a hand axe. So you can have oh. 10 points of damage. Nice. That's not nice. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, I like I I like that that D10 actually has a ten on it. All of my D10s have zeros. Oh, I hate that. And I feel like I'm having a stroke every time I try to read them. Uh, uh well, Mobius, you're gonna like this even Arch. less because that is uh f oh oh only oh, four. God. Better than oh. ten. Yeah. Right. So, much. Uh, one, two, three, four, and the fifth one. Uh, he 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 doesn't he doesn't like you at all, uh, Doom Sword. But he can't do anything about it because he misses you. Uh, all right, all right. counterattacks, please, Vrug, do something to him. That, that all right, that's a twenty-one to him. Yeah. Right. 21. I'll ween. All right. 14 points of damage. Nice. And you had hit him before for what? Six? Yes, I believe it was six. All right. Uh, yeah, six. Hmm. 14 and six is 20. Uh, all right. That, that ogre uh, ceases and desists. All right, uh, Tim, I know you've been champing at the bit, my friend. I know this is your hour. That's a hit. Roll some damage. All right. Uh, long sword under these conditions. What is it? D8, I think? D12. 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 This is large. Oh, my, my mistake. Oh, right. I, I knew there was something for 12. I can't remember what it was. He has huge guts. All right. Uh, were you attacking one of the ones that had been injured by the no. fire? No, you were attacking a fresh one. Okay. He hated that. You got a strength damage plus, right, Tim? Oh, uh, yes, I do. Uh, plus one. All right. On both. Yep. Well, one to three, so. Yeah, five yeah. simple steps for dealing with ogres. Ogres hate number five. All right. So uh, he is still up, but he got damaged a lot. Uh, I'm sorry, Kevin, what is Marius doing? He's casting web. Oh, casting web. Trying to okay. web them together. Yeah. They're kind of moving around and it's kind of her stationary stuff. So, yeah, it doesn't attach to one of them. So it just kind of. Bleh. It's like Spider Man when he misses a wall. Okay. Yeah. It's like <laughs> a weird loogie running off into space. Over that it did attach to was like. Oh, so in that kind of fight. <laughs> <laughs> we fight dirty here. <laughs> or you have a problem. <laughs> All right. Um, attempt, can Grimsby waste another sling bullet? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Grimsby waste the sling bullet. I, I I love the confidence here. The dice. You give can't it, do it. I, it away. I rolled a sixteen total. That hits. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, what do I do? I've not done this before. Hold on. I it's think been it's so three long. damage. No, it's a two to seven. Uh, five points of damage. All right. So let's see. And you do not prat one of your uh, fellow Ooh. party members for that. <laughs> Phew. Dunk. In the darkness. You. Ow. All right. Um, let's see. And we're going to go till we finish this fight. If that's okay with the players, I don't want to just leave sure. it in media rest. Uh, so there are four ogres remaining. All of them are injured, uh, save one, and they are stupid and will continue to fight. Oh, I so know. everybody I is in melee range now. 
except for Marius uh, so and Grimsby. Marius, what are you doing? I'm throwing darts, the two I have left. Okay. Uh, Mark, what is Grimsby doing? Shooting the sling again. All right. Uh, let's roll initiative, and we come back around to Doom's roll initiative. Lots of references to Doom. Thulsa Doom, Doom the video game, Doom Sword. Party goes first. Missile fire goes first. Throw your darts, please, Marius Easel. Okay. Roll. I hit roll. Oh, there it is. Oh, you son of a... Uh, it is plus three, right? Missile adjustment? Your decks, yes, that is oh, 14, 14. Yep. And you are a magic user four, correct? Yes. That's going to be all the right. Let's see here. I think like AC8. So magic user four, you rolled a 15. Uh, that is, oh, it sails just right past his ear. You almost got him. All right. I'll roll the other one. All right. That one I did hit. That, that is a 20. Okay. Point. It's 1d2. So it is, that's ah, one hit point damage. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that means oh, I'm probably out of darts. Uh, that is a 17. 17. That is a hit. I guess I'll more darts. Three, three points. Okay. And was that at the, the previously uninjured one that you've been working on? Or are you just... Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, now, let me make sure that that dart didn't hit a party member and that stone didn't hit a party member. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I, volunteer, I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> At least it only does one point of damage. Uh, sorry, that's Vroog. Vroog, you're like, plunk. AC, negative one. Uh, he rolled a 20. It was a 20. Now. All right. Well, 17 up to 20. Yeah. Uh, the stone did not. The stone actually hit an ogre. Gentlemen do that thing. There's four ogres, there's four of you. This should be a fairly simple calculus. All right, All right here. Well, let's see. That's a hit. That's a uh, AC2. Yes, sir. Come on. 15. Nice. Red Rover, Red Rover, give Vrug a dead ogre. Oof. I miss. That, however, does not. All right, Tim, show them how it's done. Son of a You do it. That's how you miss. That's exactly it. <laughs> Don't. That's not okay. how you miss an ogre. Right. This can, is how you can, miss an ogre. Can, can I say I don't like your dice rolling system at all? <laughs> it ain't mine. Just just, just buy the company or something. I'm coding a new one of these. This the first fun. night we used this system, one of my characters died. I'm coding a new one. I, I think there's I think this thing is waiting the dice or something. Standard is missed. Yeah, you got it. You got to give me a 3D. Uh, uh, Tarth is missed. You got to give me a 3D interface though. I, I don't just want the. Let me see. And well, look at that. All of the ogres missed, Mister. Your dice system is weighted against the players. It is. It's weighted badly. It sucks. We all just missed. If you okay. create an account, you can actually grab the dice and choose the dice that are built by the community, and look at the bell curve. You know, over a, a distribution of all of them that have been rolled. So you just gotta create an account. Uh, okay, I guess I will take the time to do that. <laughs> If you're going right. to be logical about this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so that is the round. Uh, the ogres being ever dim and still uh, at, at more than half their number um, are staying in the fight. So um, next verse oh, is the first. What is uh, Marius and Grimsby doing? I'm out of darts, so I'm... I'm going to watch unless bad things happen. Can't hey, you, can you, you can run up there and search for your dart. It should be. It's daytime. I can't use my 
my spring uh, and daytime. If somebody wants to cure light wounds. I would not be upset with that. <laughs> By the way, it's not daytime. It's midnight. It's midnight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well then, <laughs> shit. I'll I'll use. I thought it was daytime. Sorry. No, it was, we were all on watch because we were sleeping watch. again. We had yeah. a debate about who's midnight watch and what right. constitutes midnight. Hang on a second, though, because your ring, let me see. I can't use the uh, the shooting stars for a week. For lightning balls, I could do that every night. Every night. Right? For, oh, oh, Lord. Okay. Yeah. All right. I've totally got okay. balls of lightning. Just stop throwing darts and be useful. I don't okay. have any more darts. Somebody was supposed to buy me darts and they forgot. Yeah. Because <laughs> so, the only time you hit something, you hit one of our friends. I'm not going to buy you more darts. Oh, well. <laughs> facilitate I, that. I used to be really good with darts. <laughs> and then the dice took it away. That's right. All right. Uh, so melee mm -hmm. moles of lightning and uh, a sling a slingshot. Yeah. All right. Uh, roll initiative, please, sir. Standard. Yep. Great balls of plasma. We lose. All right. Uh, so, actually, I said there's four of them left. There's three of them left, but again, they're dumb, sir. Standard. Hit me. Okay. <laughs> That's Ouch. valid. He can't kill me, so it's fine. You see, you see what a, a, a an accommodating dungeon master I am. Is it a uh, one or a seven? Garth. That was a seven. Uh, Ouch! Son of a I got down to three hit points. Three. Oh, <laughs> nice. And uh, this one is for Duran. Uh, that that was actually a nine. If you didn't see that, it was. I saw ten. that. I okay. was well aware of that. That's why I'm down to three. It, it's hard. It's, it's hard to hurt. tell sometimes with what's on the. Screen. Yeah. Right, if you a, look in the DD dice, though, it's nice and plain. Yeah, yeah I've got well, that over here, and I've got you guys over here. So, yep. Okay. All right. So that's a that's a miss on Duran. Um, missile fire goes first. Mark, take a shot. And then he hit Tarthros Rage in the back of the head and killed him. <laughs> no. <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It wouldn't be the uh, welcome to AD and D. Does a 15 hit Tarth? <laughs> <laughs> what did I do to you guys? I, mean, I, I didn't I, ask that. I just that. want that. Yeah, nah, I, I want that noted that I didn't ask that. Um, all right. Attack matrices. Let's see here. It's an AC6. Uh, that does not hit anyone, unfortunately. Mark, have you yeah. seen the skit with um, just as the founding fathers intended, where you draw your pistol and shoot the neighbor's dog? Yes. <laughs> Tally ho, lads, as I put my powdered wig on and fire grape shot from my field gun, <laughs> just as the founding fathers intended. Um, I am leaving that up for the rest of the session. That's thank you, Cooley. That is awesome. James Ward is assistant DM today. Jim's up in gamer heaven going. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so that is a. Uh, that was all right, Krug. Step now. Um, I'm guessing you're moving these so that they're behind the ogres and not just moving through the party. No, no, yeah, I, I, I'm not. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> am avoiding the characters that are on my team. Please don't kill me. <laughs> <We're gonna spin laughs> <that> around. <laughs> it's all called right. flash damage. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> Walk it off, you baby. Yeah. If he dies, he dies. All That's right. a sacrifice you're willing to make. Huh? Yep. So <laughs> these are. Are you doing two or three? I'm doing two. You're okay. You're you're doing two. I'm gonna reroll yeah. saves then, because I could be that guy and say, "Oh, the 16s are the saving throws," but I I ain't, I ain't like that. Come on, come on, and roll it. Yeah, I have the same trouble sometimes. Oh, it's oh. only nine points of damage. What? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All right, roll, roll your other one. All right. Is neither one of them saved? The D fours giveth and the D fours taketh away. Twelve. There you go. All right. So that's a total of twenty-one, and uh, that kills two of them. There's one ogre left. It is dead. Gentlemen, do your thing. <laughs> oh, come All on. Right, let me pick this one. <laughs> 
<laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, that's dude. bizarre. I'll attack this guy. It's a 17. It's AC hit. 0. Right there. Yeah. For 12. Oh, no. He's actually still up. Um, oh, shit. All right. Fine. Uh, 13, that's AC, what, 5, I think, for, I'm a 4th level fighter, yeah, AC 5. Fighter 4, then yes, that does it. Plus 3, 11. That kills him. Okay. Uh, the ogres are now all dead. Is there any, like, forced game that I can use these sliding balls on? <laughs> just in case we want to eat. <laughs> no, there's not. Damn it! <laughs> they ran away when they saw the small sun explode in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah. Sun, ball, light. Even um, the crickets are gone. I have three hit points. I must rest. <laughs> Someone heal me. Yeah, I'm going to over. search all of the ogres. <laughs> yeah. you come You're up with gravely injured. Allow me to assist. Each one has 111 gold pieces. Uh, actually, no, each one does not because there's there's seven of them. Five uh, uh, and we are mm -hmm. wrapping up uh, just as quick as I uh, let you know here. So that is uh, you get a total of 333 gold pieces and 11 gems. Nice. Uh, hey and guys, you want to go wandering around the wilderness some more and just kill some more random monsters for a bit? Because, yeah. um, loot goblin. This was a nice little setup. This yeah. worked out well. Yeah, yes. it is. Yeah. All right. So, um, I do, I do want to mention something, guys. Uh, not, not to my players, but to my audience. So, what we have tonight is an overland journey of about seven hexes to Barnicus, um, about a send nights. Uh, journey away. Um, I recommend this highly. Do wandering monster encounters on the trail, but prep it beforehand. Yes. That way you're not... If if in the middle of the game the party takes off across country and you didn't really know they were going to do that, can't really plan for that. But if you know they're going to be taking a journey, plot it out, roll for each day, hour, time period of their travel... And do your encounters, have them ready to go. Now, you can wind up with quantum ogres, where the ogres are over here, the party goes this way. So as a DM, do you move them over here? Or you, did you, do you say, well, they're not over there, so they don't... That's up to you. That That's a riddle for you to solve. But uh, that is where we will leave it tonight, guys. You, got, you gentlemen, about halfway to Barnicus. Um... You have slain a, uh, a, a a legion of hobgoblins. You have um, done a way with gaggle of ogres and scraped together a not inconsiderable amount of treasure. Uh, fair play for the party tonight. Give them a round of applause if you feel so compelled at home. But uh, I want to thank Doomsword Deathmasters, Brooke. Thank you very much, Sir Standard, Tarth Yo. Nose Rage, Duran, Marius. And Grimsby, always a lot of fun. I'll be back tomorrow night. I think Kyle is going to be back in house tomorrow night, but I'll keep you guys updated out there via the socials. You can follow me on Twitter at a underscore dungeon Dover. Of course, please click subscribe and the bell icon for notifications here on YouTube if you feel so compelled. Um, but regardless of what we do, I will be back tomorrow. And as always, everyone, have a good evening. And do keep your eyes peeled for the dreaded owl bears. Peace. Good night. Love you all. Have you seen my owl bear? Here's to all the weirdos everywhere in the woods and in the air. Have you seen my owl bear? Should I shave off all my hair? Bobs are all around, some live in tunnels underground. Some are fat, some are rich, some are sleeping in a ditch. Can you ride a cruise?
crooked horse without a saddle, play out cars. Naked as a toad, all the way to Smoky Joe's. Have you seen the little creep driving fast in his little green Jeep? He smells like fish and brandy, but his rotten teeth look dandy. Take me to the show, I don't care if fast or slow. From action flicks to dancing dicks, just take me to the show.